Jay-Z once said, I'm hungry for knowledge. The whole thing is to learn every day to get brighter and brighter. That's what the world is about. Today, we embark on a journey to discover the radiance within ourselves, inspired by these powerful words. As I recently found myself pondering Jay-Z's words, I couldn't help but ask, am I glowing? Am I showing up as the person that I thought I should be and being all that I have become and more? It was a moment of honest self-reflection and the answer truthfully was no. So I did some deep Dr. O thinking and I contemplated on why. I realized that my thoughts were deeply ingrained in a book that I read a while ago, The Courage to Be Disliked, the Japanese phenomenon that shows you how to change your life and achieve real happiness by Ichiro Kashimi. This is a unique, thought-provoking self-help book that draws inspiration from the principles of Adlerian psychology a school of thought founded by Alfred Adler. The book is presented in the form of Socratic dialogue between a philosopher and a young man discussing the key tenets of Adlerian psychology. The central theme of the book revolves around the idea that one's happiness is not determined by external circumstances or the opinions of others. Instead, it emphasizes the significance of taking responsibility for one's own life and choices. The authors argue that the fear of being disliked or judged by others often hinders personal growth and authentic self-expression. In the book, the authors introduce the concept of separation of tasks. This concept suggests that individuals should separate tasks that are within their control from those that are not. By focusing on what they can control, their own thoughts, actions, and responses, individuals can free themselves from the burden of seeking validation from others. This, in turn, leads to a more liberated and content existence. Another key principle in the book, attributed to Adlerian psychology, is the importance of the individual's subjective perceptions in shaping their reality. The authors encourage the reader to reinterpret their past experiences and adopt a more positive perspective, highlighting the power of reframing and transforming one's outlook on life. The authors also address the vertical and horizontal relationships. Horizontal relationships are those built on comparisons and competition, often leading to feelings of inadequacy and resentment. On the other hand, vertical relationships involve relating to others as equals, recognizing and appreciating individual differences without judgment. The courage to be disliked challenges conventional wisdom about the pursuit of happiness and success. It encourages readers to question societal expectations, overcome the fear of disapproval, and cultivate the courage to live in accordance with their own values and aspirations. The book provides insights and practical wisdom rooted in Illyrian psychology, but offers a fresh perspective on achieving genuine happiness and personal fulfillment. So I ask you, are you living in your own personal fulfillment? Here are seven questions to get you started on this thought process. Am I authentic in my expressions? Ask yourself, are you genuinely expressing your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs, or are you modifying them to conform to others' expectations? Embracing the courage to be disliked involves being true to your authentic self, even if it means facing potential criticism. Do you fear rejection? Reflect on whether the fear of being disliked or rejected hinders your decision making. Consider situations where the fear may be holding you back 
from pursuing your goals or expressing your true opinion. Are you living according to your values? Evaluate whether your choices align with your core values and principles. The courage to be disliked often comes from a commitment to living in congruence with what you believe is right, regardless of external opinions. How do you handle criticism? Assess your response to criticism and negative feedback. Are you open to constructive criticism or does it deeply affect your self-esteem? Developing the courage to be disliked involves learning to differentiate between feedback that can foster growth and opinions that don't define your worth. Do you engage in people-pleasing behaviors? Examine whether you engage in people-pleasing behaviors to avoid disapproval. This could include agreeing with others even when you have a different perspective or going along with decisions that don't align with your values. Acknowledging and addressing these behaviors is a crucial step towards embracing authenticity. How important is external validation to you? Consider the role external validation plays in your life. Reflect on whether you derive your sense of worth and happiness from others' approval or if you can find intrinsic value and contentment within yourself, regardless of external opinion. And this is my favorite question. What would you do if you weren't afraid of disapproval? Imagine a scenario where the fear of being disliked or disapproved of didn't influence your decisions? What choices would you make and how would you live your life? This exercise can help identify areas where you can cultivate the courage to be disliked and live authentically. Asking yourself these questions can be a powerful tool for self-reflection and personal growth. The journey toward having the courage to be disliked is a continuous process of self-discovery and embracing authenticity in the face of societal expectations. We often say we don't have the time to address the things that are important to us and even reflect on whether we have the courage to be disliked. But Jay-Z's perspective on time resonated deeply. In the words of Jay-Z, he stated, if you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. The key is not the amount of money or background, but the wise utilization of time. Oprah, Ted Turner, Warren Buffett, everyone gets the same 24 hours. When you recognize the champion within, life takes a new trajectory. You start saying, I deserve better. Prove the non-believers wrong and the believers right. It's a shift in mindset. Mindset transforms everything. Jay-Z's life lessons teach us that success demands a price. Talent alone won't suffice. It's about outworking, outlasting, and outcommitting. As Jay-Z puts it, no one wants you to succeed. Your brain doesn't want you to be a success. The battle is within. The journey to success requires commitment and sacrifice. Are you willing to risk it all for your dreams? Success is not about the money, it's about growth. The hunger to learn, grow, serve, and create breakthroughs becomes the driving force. Talent is overrated. The real game changer is mastering consistency. It's about showing up, doing small tasks, and finding love in daily improvements. Success is a quiet, consistent process of small actions leading to stunning results. I learned that success is about embracing discomfort. It's about going through the motions even when tired, pushing through challenges, and recognizing that building resilience is akin to building muscle. When opportunities arise, don't hesitate. Life's a maze. And until you explore each hallway, you won't know if it's a dead end or a new beginning. Procrastination is the enemy. Taking small, steady steps leads to transformative results. Discipline is the secret weapon. 
It helps you get things done, overcome challenges, and maintain focus. Discipline isn't about feeling perfect every day. It's about pushing through even on the tough days. Jay-Z's wisdom aligns with the idea that progress equals happiness. Achieving a goal feels good, but the key is continuous growth. Life is a journey of constant improvement, and progress is the fuel that keeps the fire burning. Imagine a conversation with your future self. What advice would they give you about who to become and what to do? Align your actions with the person you aspire to be and let that guide your decision. Greatness requires breaking free from societal norms and pursuing your unique path. Don't settle for mediocrity. Strive for the person that defies expectations and leaves a lasting legacy. As we reflect on Jay-Z's transformative journey and apply these lessons to our lives, let's remember that success is not a destination. It's a continuous journey of growth, discipline, and self-discovery. Embrace the glow within, for today marks the beginning of your unstoppable radiance. Thank you for joining this transformative journey. May your path be illuminated by the glow of your commitment and may your actions echo louder than any doubt. Shine on with your bad self. Peace and blessings, Dr. O. Hey there, warriors of resilience. Welcome back to our journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Today, we're diving into the words of the legendary Muhammad Ali, exploring the transformative power of courage and how it applies to our lives, especially those in addiction recovery. But before we get started, let me share a personal story. Picture this, my family and I on an excursion, embracing life's twists and turns. Alongside my husband, daughter, and my son who's navigating the world of high functioning autism. Autism, a unique lens that shields him from fear became a powerful reminder of the impact fear can have on our lives. On a children's ride at the state fair, fear was the main event. We were riding one of those rides that goes really fast and the cameras are there just waiting to capture the terrified faces of the zenith of speed. While the rest of us, my husband, my daughter, and I quivered in fear my son, oblivious to it, wore a beaming smile. His lack of fear spoke volumes, a reminder that sometimes fear is a barrier we can overcome. Now let's shift gears to our personal battles, the struggle against addiction. Many of you may relate to the inner dialogue of fear. What if I fail? I'm scared. I have these gifts, talents, dreams, but I'm afraid to try to use them. I haven't seen anybody else use them. Why do I have to be the first? Life is a series of challenges. It's the fight of your life and avoidance only prolongs the haunting presence of unexplored challenges. You are not alone in this journey and it's time to confront these challenges head on. Fear may try to stop you, but you're stronger than that voice. Moved by faith, you've come too far to give up now. Within you lies greatness waiting to be unleashed. Now here's a truth for you. If you run every time life gets tough, you'll be haunted by what you avoided. But if you approach the fight with courage you increase your chances of victory. You are not a scary cat, you're a warrior, fighting through cancer, academic struggles, divorce, addiction, any obstacle in your path. Fear is big, but guess what? You're bigger. Think about my journey. I had to face the federal government about a crime that I committed in response to their flawed paperwork. 
It wasn't because I'm the strongest or the fastest, but because I kept fighting. Your journey might be tough, but don't quit. Break fear before it breaks you. Embrace the concept of past possible. It means not only can you achieve your dreams, but the odds are in your favor. It's not just possible, it's probable. So fellow warriors, write fight the fear in the comments if you're ready to confront the fears and transform your recovery journey. Remember, it's past possible and you have greatness within you. Until next time, keep fighting, keep believing, and keep thriving. You've got this. Peace and blessings, Dr. O. Dear champions on the journey of recovery, today we need to embark on a transformative path. We must ghost everyone who has doubted us, lied to us, or questioned our dreams. Who is it in your life that aids your addiction and prevents you from walking in sobriety? Who triggers your desire to smoke or drink or engage in any other addictive behaviors? What people, places, and things continue to feed your desire for addiction and engage in addictive behavior. We live in a world of busyness, distractions, and noise. Sometimes the only way to bring about change is to disappear, to retreat within ourselves and refocus on the reasons we began this journey. In the early hours of the morning, when the world was asleep, we toiled. We cried those tears when we wanted the world to say yes, yet it continued to say no. But here's the challenge. You must forget about the noise of the world. Can you unplug from people's agendas, viewpoints, and judgments and find a space to work on you? You have to rediscover the power of being alone, to go back to the darkness where greatness and motivation are born. Behind the success of celebrated athletes, critical figures, innovators, and actors lies a story of blood, sweat, and countless sleepless nights. It's time to accept that the process in the dark room is what equips us for the stages of destiny. Rising Strong is about going back to the child who dared to dream, who wanted to chase everything the world said they couldn't have. It's about resetting, disconnecting from the negativity that surrounds us and understanding that we've been held back by those who call themselves our friends, but often drain our energy and discourage our dreams. Some of the most remarkable creations and transformations occur in the dark room, behind the closed doors. Building something new and groundbreaking is a revelation that happens when no one is watching, when no one is listening, when no one is validating you. Remember, it's not about fighting the old, it's about building the new. You'll face challenges, moments when you can't fight anymore, when you'll lie down and bleed, but then you'll get up and find more strength to keep going. Falling back into the dark room can be the secret to success. People might have left you, counted you out, or doubted your potential, but it's time to prove them wrong. 
Some may pretend to be your friends, but secretly harbor hidden desires to see you fail. They'll support you with their words, but secretly harbor their doubts. Disappear from their sight. Do the work that's required in silence and come back to shock the world. Unplug from the negative energy. Focus on your inner light and build something extraordinary that you'll announce to the world when it's ready. It's time to go within. Rediscover your strength and become the best sober version of yourself. Ghost the negativity, unplug from the distractions, and focus on your journey to recovery. You're worth every effort, and the world is waiting to be amazed by the greatness that will emerge from the darkness. Embrace the process of resetting and ghosting, for it's the road to your recovery. My fellow warriors, yes, it hurts sometimes, doesn't it? Sometimes life can make you feel alone, trapped in a dark place where it seems like no one cares. But there's something crucial you must realize. It all begins with self-love. To transform your life, to make a meaningful impact, you must start by loving yourself again. It's time to let go of self-hatred. Understand that life is a journey. Don't view it as a temporary assignment. While we all know that life is short, Many have realized too late that tomorrow is never guaranteed. Each day you wake up, you have another chance, another opportunity, and another moment to make a difference. Life is not a game. It's a profound experience. It includes the good, the bad, and most importantly, the right now. You can't wait for someone else to make your life better. It's up to you. Focus on yourself, but remember, this doesn't mean forgetting others. It means shedding what doesn't make you stronger, what doesn't empower you, and what doesn't lead you to a better place. Please don't give up. Life is a precious gift, and once it's over, you can't return. Leave your mark, help someone, and become the strength for others when they are weak. One day when you are at your weakest, someone may lift you up. Remember, we all struggle and no one is immune to it. Keep fighting, keep living, and breathe life into yourself and the world around you. It's going to hurt. It's going to be tough, but remember, when it gets tough, you get tougher. Make your mark in this world for someone out there didn't make it today, but you did. Keep living, keep living strong and never give up. You have this moment. It's not about worrying about tomorrow. Tomorrow doesn't owe you anything. It has already been decided. Focus on today on the chance to do something great with the life you've been given. It's possible you've been through hell, but remember, hell doesn't own you and it didn't create you. Life is a gift from a higher power and no matter who you are, everyone must struggle and suffer at some point. Even in the most successful people, who have had to go through their share of pain to achieve what they have, some aren't even willing to endure that pain to reach their goals. Beyond your own struggles, we must also remember those who face greater challenges. What about those who can't walk or talk? What about those who are suffering from incurable diseases? What about you? What are you going to do with the life you have? 
How will you live? How far will you go? Will you feel sorry for yourself when the day doesn't go as planned? Or will you acknowledge your achievements no matter how small? We all have a responsibility and we must be accountable. Put in the work and keep pushing forward. So don't give up because there's always someone out there who is hurting, who is struggling, who has it tougher than you. So why would you give up now? Challenges will come your way and you must be ready to face them. Don't stay down, rise up. When something is weighing on your chest, release it. As long as you're breathing, your heart is pumping, you're not defeated. So ensure every breath you take counts for something. It's time to understand that if you want something out of life, you must be willing to work for it. You need to ask yourself how much you're truly willing to give. Are you prepared to endure the hurt and struggle required to achieve your goals? If you're that person, then it's time to get moving because time doesn't wait. Time has made up its mind. What are you going to do. Life wasn't meant to be easy. It takes grit, tenacity, and sacrifice. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. This isn't a pity party. It's your right to celebrate life, both the good and the bad, because nothing is greater than the act of living. The power to change, the power to evolve, lies within you. And there's a world out there waiting for your unique contribution. In this world, there are people who don't believe in you. But instead of worrying about their beliefs, focus on believing in yourself. Live, breathe life into every moment, and let your existence be a testament of your resilience and strength. To your recovery, this is Dr. O. Dear warriors on your path to recovery, welcome to a journey inspired by the profound wisdom of Oprah Winfrey. Today we delve into the power of dreams, the strength to show up, and the commitment to create a life free from the shackles of addiction. As Oprah once wisely said, surround yourself with only people who are going to lift you higher. Life's journey, especially in addiction recovery, demands a transformative shift in personal identity. Today, you find yourself at a crossroads realizing the imperative need to surround yourself with positivity and individuals who understand the struggle of addiction. Addiction can make us feel stuck and sometimes even our closest relationships become part of that struggle. We often feel obligated to stick around with those who may not support our recovery journey. However, every time we allow someone to interfere we harm both ourselves and our support system. Let's reflect on the dreams of your youth. I want you to know that I understand the challenges you're facing in your journey towards recovery. The path to overcoming addiction is seldom linear and setbacks like relapses can make showing up feel like an uphill battle. It's essential to remember that relapse doesn't erase the progress you've made or the strength you've demonstrated in your commitment to change. Consider a relapse as a detour, not a dead end. It's an opportunity for reflection and learning, a chance to understand the triggers and pitfalls that led to this moment. You are not defined by a momentary lapse. Your identity is rooted in your resilience and determination to reclaim your life. Now let's talk about some mindset shifts that will empower you on this challenging, but transformative journey. 
Mindset shift number one, embrace self-compassion. Instead of dwelling on guilt and shame, show yourself the same compassion you would extend a friend facing difficulties. Understand that recovery is a process and setbacks are part of the human experience. Mindset shift number two, cultivate a growth mindset. Recognize that recovery is a continuous journey of growth and learning. Every experience, including setbacks, presents an opportunity for personal development and increased resilience. Mindset shift number three, focus on the present moment. Instead of letting the past dictate your emotions, focus on the present. Mindfulness can help you make conscious choices and navigate the challenges of recovery one step at a time. Mindset shift number four, reframe challenges as opportunities. View relapses as opportunities for self-discovery and course correction. Identify the patterns and circumstances that contributed to the relapse and use the insight to strengthen your coping mechanisms. Mindset shift number five, cultivate gratitude. Shift your focus from what went wrong to what is right in your life. Gratitude can be a powerful force in promoting a positive mindset, reinforcing the reasons you are committed to recovery. Mindset shift number six, build a supportive community. Reach out to those who understand the complexities of addiction. Surround yourself with a supportive community that encourages your recovery journey and provides understanding in times of difficulty. Mindset shift number seven, celebrate progress, not perfection. Acknowledge and understand the positive strides you've made, no matter how small. Recovery is about progress, not perfection. Each step forward is a testament to your commitment and resilience. Remember, every recovery journey is unique and setbacks are part of the process. Use this moment as an opportunity to renew your commitment, reinforce your support systems and grow stronger. Your ability to bounce back is a testament to your inner strength and the path ahead is filled with possibilities for healing and transformation. You are not alone in this journey and brighter days await. So let's take a walk down memory lane. Let's reflect on the dreams of your youth where anything was possible. Today, as warriors in recovery, dream big and create a life free from the grip of drugs and alcohol. It's time to quit working for the substances and start working for your dreams. Oprah's wisdom teaches us a fundamental rule of success in recovery, show up. The journey to recovery may seem overwhelming, but the first step is consistently showing up. Regardless of your struggles, financial or emotional, showing up is your strength, your weapon against addiction. Addiction may throw obstacles your way, but remember, showing up is the first step towards overcoming them. Even in moments of despair, when you feel you lack something essential, you can start your recovery journey by helping others. As we conclude this transformative journey towards recovery, remember Oprah's words and commit to surround yourself with only people who are going to lift you higher. So here's our pledge. Write show up in the comments if you're ready to embark on this journey of recovery, resilience, and strength. Peace and blessings to all warriors. This is Dr. O. Dear warriors on the path to recovery, we gather here today united by the strength and wisdom that resides within us. Our journey to recovery is not an easy one and letting go of the past can be incredibly challenging. We've worked tirelessly to reach the point we're at now, but here's the truth. Every challenge we face requires unwavering focus, faith, dedication, and discipline. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, but there's no reason to be down on yourself. 
There's no reason to harbor sadness. And in reality, we are so much more. We must keep looking up, even on those days when it feels like the world is crashing down on us. There will be moments when you question your strength and your will to carry on. Days when you just want to give up. But you must remember that giving up is not an option. Instead of complaining or wallowing in despair, we need to channel our energies towards planning for our sobriety. Plan for the attack. Plan to do better. Plan to rise higher. Plan to do what's right for ourselves. Understand that this moment, this struggle, this issue with sobriety is just another chapter in your life, another testimony you will share with others. You will show them that you've been knocked down, but every time you got back up. Believe, have faith, and trust. These are your weapons to get to sobriety. Let it be known that you are the best, and the best knows that they will not give up. This is the time to understand what you are dealing with. Face your challenges head on and trust yourself. You can't change others and not everyone will share your same goal for sobriety. It's easy to get caught up in the complaints and expectations, but sometimes you have to stay in your lane and go your own way. As long as your heart is beating, and your eyes are open, you have the strength within you to get back up. Life is work, your purpose is work, and sobriety is work. They all require your effort and dedication. Find your sanctuary, a place where no one else can touch you, a place of peace and harmony. Believe in yourself when no one else does. No one deserves the power to steal you from your happiness. No one deserves your sobriety. The best never quits. The best knows how to rise again. The best doesn't linger on the ground for too long because they understand that even when they are down, they possess the capability to rise once more. Work, effort, and purpose are the ingredients of sobriety. Negative influences can block your view of the promised land, the truth within yourself. You may wonder why certain setbacks happen, but sometimes they are just part of the journey. As long as you have a beating heart, functioning lungs and open eyes, you will rise again. Believe in yourself. Work towards your potential. Trust in your capabilities and fight for what you can achieve. This is the fight of your life and you will work, push, and stand tall. You will not bow down. You will not give up and you will fight for everything you have today and for the rest of your life. Be productive, be strong, and from the bottom of my heart, I encourage you to conduct your business, the business of transformation, growth, resilience, and sobriety. Get up and go to work or you have the strength and wisdom within you to rise strong and embrace success in your recovery journey. Hello, my dear friends. Today, I want to share a story from my own life, one that carries a powerful message about overcoming challenges, dealing with judgment, and owning your journey in sobriety. I recently received news that a high school classmate had passed away. It was a moment that made me reflect on the fragility of life and the importance of reaching out to others 
when they are in need. I knew that she had been unwell with a breathing tube in her nose and I had intended to ask her if she needed anything, offer my help and just be there as a friend. However, life had other plans and she left us before I could. But as a natural leader, I decided to take charge. I assumed the role of our senior class president and offered my support. In her memory, I bought a tree, a living memorial, to give solace to her grieving family and commemorate our shared past. I reached out to my former classmate, asking for contributions to share the cost. While many stepped up to support this meaningful gesture, some did not. And I ended up paying the remaining balance out of my own pocket. It was a choice I would make again and again without hesitation for the memory of our dear friend. However, amidst the generosity and unity, there was one classmate who questioned the allocation of leftover donations. The irony lay in the fact that this classmate hadn't contributed a dime yet demanded an explanation about funds they weren't entitled to. At first, I felt a surge of offense, but then something else took over, empathy. I began to pity this classmate, to wonder how it felt to lack the courage or will to invest even $10 in a heartfelt tribute, yet find the audacity to question those who had. You see, people who fall short, who cannot rise to the occasion often underestimate the effort it takes because they simply can't relate. All she saw was a magnificent memorial tree, unaware of the countless hours, money, and resources poured into its creation. It was easy for them to judge because they were not the ones tasked with responsibility. Now I ask you to reflect. Who in your life is underestimating you? More importantly, who are you underestimating? The fear of doing it wrong or being scrutinized or judged might be keeping you from fully showing up in your journey to sobriety. It's crucial to recognize that judgments from those who haven't walked in your shoes can't define your path. Today I want to make a commitment to show up boldly, authentically, and powerfully in your purpose. Put aside self-doubt and the limiting strategies that hold you back. Your sobriety is rightfully yours and no one should diminish its significance. Stand tall in your truth. Remember, there will always be spectators on the sidelines, ready to pass judgment on your life's game. But these judgments often come from those who lack the courage to play the game themselves. You cannot allow your journey to be dictated by those who lack the drive to succeed. Instead, keep practicing, keep improving, and keep perfecting your game. Success is not about getting it right the first time. It's about practicing until you cannot fail. The world can be tough and people sometimes let their insecurities drive them to undermine others' accomplishments. Stand strong and unyielding. Let your success speak for you. You are more than capable of achieving and maintaining your sobriety. Your strength is your testimony to what's possible. So remember this, you've got this. You are not alone on this journey.